Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, two affordable vintage reproduction microphones from Warm Audio. Let's get started. Today we're checking out the WA-47 and the WA-47 Junior from Warm Audio. Warm Audio, of course, is very well known for their affordable recreations of vintage gear, and these two microphones are no exception. The WA-47 is based on the Tube 47, a vintage microphone that was used with everyone from Frank Sinatra to the Beatles and many, many other artists. The WA-47 Junior is similar to an FET style 47, very popular on kick drum and instruments, but also on vocals, acoustic guitar, both of these microphones can be used on a wide range of sources. Although the two microphones share the number 47 in their name, they couldn't be more different. The WA-47 is based around a 5751 vacuum tube and it uses an American-made AMI transformer. The WA-47 Junior is a solid state microphone based around FET electronics with no transformer in the signal path. Both microphones utilize a recreation of the vintage style K47 capsule. The recreations use the exact same mechanical design and have the same frequency response as the original. The frequency response of the two microphones is 20 Hz to 20 kHz, but that's about where the similarities end. On the WA-47, of course, as I mentioned, we have a tube style microphone and it supports nine different polar patterns. You adjust those using a knob that's on the power supply. They range from omni to cardioid to fully figure eight. The WA-47 has a self-noise spec of just 11 dBA, so it's a very quiet tube microphone, and it'll handle sound pressure levels up to 140 dB, so you can use it on the loudest sources. The WA-47 Junior has a self-noise spec of 9 dB, an extremely quiet microphone, and it'll handle up to 147 dB SPL, or with the 10 dB pad engaged, up to 157 dB. The WA-47 Junior also has a 70 Hz low-cut filter, and that helps control rumble that might be picked up by the microphone. The WA-47 comes with an external power supply, and that's where you adjust the polar patterns for the microphone. They've also included a 5-pin, 7-meter long Gotham cable for connecting the microphone to the power supply. And the WA-47 comes in a wooden presentation box. Both microphones include a shock mount, so you're ready to go right out of the box. Despite the low cost of these two microphones, Warm Audio hasn't skimped on the quality of any of the components that are used in their construction. The microphones feel solid, they feel rugged, and they're using very high-end capacitors for maximum signal purity. But of course, what really matters with any microphone is how it sounds. And the WA-47 and the WA-47 Junior definitely deliver. As you'll hear, they're very different microphones. We're going to listen to them on two sources, acoustic guitar and male vocals. We'll begin with Don Carr playing a Martin acoustic guitar. We're routing the microphones through an Apogee Ensemble audio interface and straight into Pro Tools. Next up, let's check out Nick DiVirgilio singing through both of these microphones, again through our Apogee Ensemble, directly into Pro Tools. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the WA-47 and the WA-47 Junior from Warm Audio. Great sounding microphones that come in at an incredible price and give you that vintage vibe, that vintage tonality that you want for your recordings. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Mm -hmm.